all right all right all right all right so we're getting something nice this is very 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 detailed in this video we are going to restore faces of very low detail generations especially from animate stiff and in my previous tutorial we had a few challenges where the details of the faces were not so clear and this will be a part two i would include a link in the top right corner now and also in the description i have set my checkpoint to two new and um, to get the same prompt of what we used i'm gonna go all the way back to the project and i have actually copied the frames into a folder and this was exported in 64 frames and to get a correct prompt i'm just going to drag one of these pictures into the png info just to have the generation data and i drag one of these any of these um, from here we are just going to send this to image to image we can see here the face is not too visible we are going to use the add detailer tab add detailer basically helps with the quality of your faces with most of your generations i'll be including the link in the description but all you need to do is just go to the github description uh, once you're here you can have a look and read on the installation please just come here copy like so come back to stable diffusion just to install the extension you go to extensions uh, you go to install from url you can just paste this here once you click install you just wait for a while if you should come back here it should show in your extension list here and uh, then you apply and restart ui once you apply and restart the ui you have to restart stable diffusion also you have to close your terminal and restart the whole um, local url come back to stable diffusion and then you can proceed using your extension first step is to decrease the denoise frame because we don't want any changes affecting the image so if we should push this to one if i generate it changes the entire look of the generation it gives us a whole different um, generation here but if i should push all the way down to zero uh, let's see what's gonna happen it's going to give us the exact same thing we come down to add detailer label add detailer we have one two three if you guys uh, just have two channels it's fine i just went all the way to my settings and under add detailer um, which is here i just pushed my max models to three but usually the default is just is to just have two not to confuse you guys i'll go back to image to image and that is the reason i have three tabs right so um we are going to use the first tab in the first tab we are going to select the face in the second tab you can select um, any of the models here which is the hand and in the third tab you can also it's just like the control net options and tabs these models in the in the tabs are installed by default but apart from the default you can also download a few ones which i'll include in the description um, a few ones like um, face yellow s which is this one here you guys just click here to download to your stable diffusion directory you go to your models and the models you look for add detailer so you paste them into this folder or you download them to this folder i have three additional ones come back to stable diffusion you have to restart stable diffusion and then you can have this model so and the one we are going to use now is the yellow s for the face um, we are not going to do anything with the second and third we are only going to focus on the face you also need to enter a prompt here Santa Claus perfect face detail face let's see after we hit generate but what we can see now is this detailed face of Santa compared to what we have here all right so we can at least now see he's got his eyes he's got you know the beard you know and stuff like that to so come to the batch file we need an input directory and we need an output directory we already have the input directory which is this folder here and i'm going to create an output directory as well 
and I'm going to call this Slip Improved. Right, you guys can name this anything you want. Right click, you can copy as part and you paste here. There are so many ways of doing this. You can also um, select everything here. Control C to copy the path where we put it here. And with the output folder, we come back here. Right click, copy as path. You can paste here. Control V to paste. This is all we need under the batch tab. So from here, I'm just gonna click generate and then we see um, what's gonna happen. We can still come into the folder we are exporting into, which is the improved uh, clip to new. Um, all the frames are just updating once it's done uh, from stable diffusion. And from here, we can even start assessing the frames. You can see frame one is very, very good. Uh, frame two, not too good. Frame three as well. Frame four, we have something good. Frame five, it's making it more of a female. Frame six, that's good. Frame seven, that's better. Frame eight, yeah, that's also good. Frame nine, it's also good. So frame ten, it misses it. So basically, um, it's 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 trying to do its best recognizing all the frames through the animation. We have to run this as many times as possible. You know, if we feel like okay, it's not recognizing any frame. But for now, we can see it's also doing it be its best to recognize all of the frames through the animations. Um, so once this is done with our first um, export, but I'm going to push up the C uh, FG scale. I'll push this up to 20 just to see uh, what we're going to get. And I am going to rename this. So this will be this will be clip improved number two. CFG have a good reference. CFG twenty. I'll copy this directory now. Uh, copy as part, and I'll paste this here into our output. And let's see the results we get for CFG twenty. So I'll just click generate. All right, all right, all right, all right. So um. We're getting something nice. This is more detailed. And we can see we missed the second frame from the first one. Well, they, they actually found the second frame in this export. Also the third frame. If I should open this now, we can see we already have four frames. This is very, very, very detailed. This is very good. Because also this is this is this is not a character generation. This is not a facial. This is a scenery generation. So the faces are not too huge for it to recognize. We have like the faces very very small. So I'll give credits to our detailer. The biggest advantage is we are not going through all of this frame by frame, but our detailer is doing the job of just um, running through this as a batch file. And we can always just step away and it's doing its thing just automatically uh, detecting the faces of any animation. This is the technique of uh, running through all the frames uh, to have your faces restored after generating from animated. Running a batch export and using the add detailer extension uh, just to run through everything. I'd like to give a special shout out to Pronto CG Tutor and also Control plus Alt plus AI where he gave a very very good explanation of the Add Detailer Basics and Workflow Tutorial. So I hope you guys learned something new today. Um, using the Add Detailer also Automatic 1111. By giving this video a like, you can help others to learn from it as well. Until next time.